Head for the Cure 5Ks are not only successful fundraisers in the fight against brain cancer, but are unique tributes for those who are currently fighting this disease and remembering those who we have lost. We are honored to recognize those patients and survivors and what they have gone through with our Keeping the Faith recognition. Each of their stories are personal and special and are all inspiring. We have five very special Keeping the Faith recognitions today. These recipients were nominated by their loved ones and we would like to share their stories. Ed Horowitz, nominated by Jen Horowitz. It's been over two years since we found out my sweet husband had a mass in his brain, immediately having surgery two days later. We had no idea the crazy roller coaster ride we were about to embark on. He's had two resections since May 2018 and is currently battling another reoccurrence. Despite all the highs and super low lows, my amazing husband has remained so incredibly strong in his faith, his bravery, and his positive attitude, hope, and humor. The glioblastoma diagnosis has taken so much away from him physically and has rocked our family, but he has remained such a rock for myself and our boys and shown us what true strength looks like. He has been an inspiration to so many in our community of friends and family, and even those that don't even know him well. He's that kind of guy, one of a kind. He's my warrior, my hero, and I love him with all my heart. Sam Stotts, nominated by April Thatcher. Sam is a 21-year GBM brain cancer survivor with a large family history with this disease. Five consecutive generations on his mother's side have suffered from a brain tumor. In addition, he has had several relatives on his father's side pass from brain cancer. Sam's own battle with brain cancer began in 1999 after experiencing migraines, memory loss, and loss of his sense of direction. In August of that year, Sam was rushed to the hospital to find that he had a ruptured aneurysm along with a tennis ball sized mass. The next day, the mass was removed and Sam woke up a few days later. From there, Sam started extensive treatment. His first 18 months started with a clinical trial involving high density neutron radiation to the head. There were 20 individuals in the study and within six months, Sam was the sole survivor. This treatment was followed by two types of chemotherapy administered simultaneously, a third type of therapy in addition to receiving conventional radiation to the lower spine. Sam additionally was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Sam even jokes that he now has had cancer in both brains. Since then, Sam has also been a part of another clinical trial, additional chemotherapy, radiation, spinal taps, MRIs, and CT scans. Sam has been committed to helping others through his involvement in support groups and sharing his story. He has met and lost many friends throughout his journey. Sam participates in Head for the Cure so that someday no one will have to walk this path. Jennifer Toe, nominated by Melora Riviera. Jen is one of the most inspiring people I know. She is resilient, kind, positive, funny, upbeat, and so giving to others. It is such a gift to be friends with Jen. Eric Mion Jimenez, nominated by Melissa Martinez. Eric is a brain cancer survivor, but if you've ever had the honor of meeting Eric, you know that he is much more than a survivor. He is kind, humble, and funny. He is a son, brother, an uncle, a friend, a fiance, and a beloved member of this community and in my life. Eric has been participating in the 5K for the past four years following successful surgery and chemotherapy in 2015. This year, Eric will be participating in the 5K, but from a different perspective, since we found out this month he is having a reoccurrence of his brain tumor. Luckily, we caught it early, 
have an excellent team of physicians and a deep faith that Eric will once again beat cancer. Eric's light and love are undeniable, and as he goes through this journey again, that light and love has not diminished once. Eric has joked that this surgery is happening because he is overdue for his quarantine haircut, and we're just taking a little bit off the top. Eric's humor and faith have played a huge role in his reassuring himself and others that he will be fine and he has inspired many, including myself, to continue to keep the faith. I am so proud of my fiancé and how strong he is throughout this journey and how he continues to inspire others. Adrian Yang, nominated by Sarah Morgan. In 2019, Adrian was admitted to the hospital after an MRI found a mass in her brain. The tumor was removed on June 4, 2019, and pathology came back indicating it was GBM. After three surgeries, chemo, radiation, many infections, and wearing a helmet full time, Adrian is now a survivor. She always exuded strength and confidence in herself and faith in her doctors and her ability to survive. She did all this while raising two children, working a demanding job, and being an amazing wife, sister, daughter, friend. She was always so present and positive. It was easy to forget she was suffering inside. Adrienne is an inspiration to anyone who knows her, and not just because she's out there running a distance a lot of perfectly healthy people can't or won't do. She battled the cancer demon and still managed to keep her head held high, maintain her faith, and stay the wonderful person she's always been. Adrian is a true warrior princess. New this year, the Legacy of Love nomination is easily defined by actions of integrity, encouragement, determination, and serving others, especially those in need. This deserving person must be a leader each day and also have the courage to smile in the midst of adversity. We would now like to recognize this year's three Legacy of Love recipients and share their stories. David Mattingly, nominated by Nicole Mattingly. My husband has been one of my biggest supporters and caregivers since we first started dating. I was two months out from a brain surgery at the time, and just seven months later, he was by my side as I geared up for a reoccurrence. He has been my co-researcher, advocate, and shoulder to lean on. He has traveled across the country with me several times for care, been my sounding board, and been the rock for our family through this all. He is the first person I turn to and share my thoughts with, and he helps to keep me focused on the future. Thank you to my incredible husband for his love and support. Mark Wombold, nominated by Nicole Mattingly. I would like to recognize my father for the support, care, and love he has shown along my brain cancer journey. When I was first diagnosed with a brain tumor in fifth grade, he was by my side doing whatever he could for me, even drawing a wanted poster for my Pooh Bear stuffed animal that I lost when I went to surgery. It was found. He was literally by my side through countless MRIs over the years, so I wasn't scared. He has traveled across the country with me three times for surgeries and to meet with different doctors. He has spent hours upon hours driving me to radiation treatments. I can always count on him to be with me and help me in any way he can. Thank you, Dad, for everything you have done for me and for consistently being there for me. Jim Matthews, nominated by Stacy Matthews. Jim is my husband and best friend. He has been by my side through everything and has taken up the slack when things are difficult. I can't imagine going through this without him. 